Pet Gear is brought to you by Especially for Pets, the store created by pet lovers for pet lovers. In today's Pet Gear, we're sampling some of the low-fat and low-calorie snacks we can use for a more healthful pet diet. Joining me now with more is NECN's Allison Sonfist. Hey, Allison. Hi, Vicki. Thank you. I love it when you come in here. Thank you. I love being here. Now, before we talk, Tally's here to show <laughs> that they're all edible. Um, but one of the things that we need to bear in mind as we talk about these low-fat or low-calorie snacks is that we still need to watch the amount that we're eating. We can't eat the whole bag. Yes. So well, you brought some interesting things in today, yes. my friend Allison. Yes. I mean, there's Mother Nature, which is a car carrot, carrot cake. cake recipe. These are great because they're meat-free and they're low-calorie, and dogs love them. They taste really, really good. So I don't know. Maybe we can try them out. You want to try these? Sure. All right, Tally, you're lucky. And right next to them, we have two sweet potato items. Sweet yes. potatoes. Dogs you? love the taste of sweet potatoes, and they're extremely healthy for them. These High come in, in fiber. These come in two forms. One are more sticks, and one are similar to the look of rawhide, but of course, much, much healthier. And the great thing about these as well is they won't stain the carpet. Fabulous. They smell good, too. They smell like <laughs> sweet potatoes. And then we have... Um, Charlie bears are familiar to a lot of people. I see that there are different flavors, which I actually didn't realize. But Yes, and the thing that's great about these, each treat is only three calories. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Three calories. They come in different flavors. These are turkey liver with real cranberries in them, liver, and these are the cheese and egg. So, There's like a, They're kind of like Tic Tacs. Exactly. They're perfect for training as well if you just want to give one little treat or as a reward. They taste great and they're really good. We have some other healthful ones. Uh, I snacks. think these are the veggie and garlic ones from A Dog's Life, so those are low calorie as well. These well bars are really nice. All dogs seem to love these. They're made with yogurt, bananas, apples. They almost look good enough for a person to they eat. They smell. I, we have had those at home, and I have to say I'm always tempted to bite into them. Always yes. be careful, too. Garlic and onions are not great for dogs, so um, even treats with those treats that have garlic in them presumably are just trace amounts, and they would be safe exactly. for consumption, but something to be careful of. We should shouldn't forget human food. <laughs> <laughs> Carrots, blueberries, they're great for pets as well. So if you're snacking on a few, hand some down to the dogs. Tally loves carrots. Good girl. Oh, we should this also so show we have a new addition to our show. <laughs> This is Linda and R.D. Saul's dog, Casey. Casey. She's excited to try out some of the low-fat treats as well. Yeah, <laughs> she's very excited you ready? to do it. <laughs> We're going to get to see her grow up, we Allison. Are. You're joining so our exciting. little force of studio. So Look exciting. At, notice what Tally is sneaking around. Come here. <laughs> You're not allowed to free feed. They're all interested in the food. What a good girl. What a she good girl. So... We also have something really special at the end of the table. Yes, these treats are all from the Polka Dog Bakery, which is in the South End How in Boston. How did you get that? Is it Polka Dot, a variation of Polka Dot? It's or? actually a really cute story. There was a stray dog found in Puerto Rico, and she only had one eye. They named her Pearl, and every time she'd greet um, people, she would do a little polka dance because she couldn't see well. So her owners started making all these homemade treats for her and eventually built it into this really fabulous business. So we brought three things in from them. Sweet story. We have our chicken little treats, which are <laughs> baked fresh every single morning. They're low fat and great for the dogs to eat. We also have our after dinner mints, which are made from real mint and real parsley every morning. Oh, nice. And obviously they're good for the dog's breath. You're doing it the wrong order. You're giving her the know. mint and then the I fish. I know, we should. These are actually made from real um, fish cod, and they don't smell so great, but dogs do love them. <laughs> Similar to rawhide, but once again, much, much healthier and easier to digest. Fabulous. Um, oh, look at these. Is this the fish? Yes. I don't even want to touch it to tell you the truth. Right. But look how neat these are, the chicken little. <laughs> yeah, I'll touch a mint afterward. To yes. Make sure that <laughs> these are very popular here. You know something? The best segments we do in the studio for Studio Dogs is the snack segment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then they all come up to us. So the trick is low fat, low calorie, and be careful about how much you're giving. Yes. And always pay attention to nice fresh uh, fruit and veggie snacks, no onions, grapes, or raisins. Yes. Thank you, Allison. Thank, Thank you for you, being Vicky. here. Thank you, Vicky.